Well, I'm sure you guys saw we had, uh, I made a decision day. We had four players that normally play that weren't out there. We have a standard and expectation on this team. And if they don't meet it, they don't get to play. And they didn't. So hopefully they'll do that, take care of what they need to take care of and have the opportunity to play next week. That's my expectation uh, of them. And we'll figure that out. But uh, there's no, nobody is treated any differently on this team. And so when they don't do what is expected of them, there's consequences. And that, that's the only statement I have on that. Uh, obviously frustrating, you, you get out early again, uh, get up on 14 points, have two very successful drives early on, run the ball really well in the first half, and then don't have answers to, to make it happen in the second half. Now you got to give Wyoming credit. I thought they were really, uh, they were a lot more physical in the second half. They didn't uh, do anything magically to, uh, they didn't do any magic scheme change or do anything that we didn't prepare for or weren't ready for. I thought they were more physical in the second half and, and outplayed us there. Uh, especially on the on the edge and on the perimeter, uh, the runs that we were hitting early on, they were they were getting off blocks and making plays better. And uh, I don't think the, obviously the quarterback didn't play as well. I don't think he played as well as he did last week early on in the first game. I mean in the first half against UNLV, uh, we had really good movement up front moving the ball, and uh, we had the opportunity. The two field goals hurt. The two missed field goals, uh, both of them were. George hit the upright on the first one, and the second one, it didn't get any higher than this. So that's on that's on the the mechanics of kicking the ball. We got to hit that ball through the pipe. Uh, got to get it up quick so that they can't block it because there wasn't great penetration. It just wasn't hit high enough. If we can make those two, it's 20 to. Um, we have a three point lead. It'll be 23 20, and we're not trying to rush and score, and we we don't we're not in the situation to throw the pick six. So those two missed field goals hurt. And then we have an opportunity with a great punt return by a true freshman, Jamaris Lewis, uh, to give us a chance to, to go up 21-20, and we don't capitalize. So uh, we had a lot of opportunities that we did not capitalize on. You give the offense the ball 12 yard lines, you get points out of it, and that was the second missed field goal. Uh, we had to have some players step up. Obviously, I thought Jarek Reed did an okay job out there at corner. He didn't give up anything big. I thought he missed a couple of tackles early. Uh, it happens a lot faster out there than, than you're ready for uh, until you get game speed reps. And I thought he adjusted. I thought Dramarius Lewis played well for a true freshman having his first significant action in both returning punts and, and playing in the secondary. And you're asking the true freshman to do a lot of things in his first thing. And I thought he responded really well. And then obviously we have A.J. Halsey out there who's the true freshman who, uh, you know, you can get away with it in high school stuff where you've got a guy covered and you don't think the quarterback can put it in there on the very first touchdown on a third and 10, he had the guy covered like a blanket and relaxed and wasn't expecting the guy to throw it and he throws it over his head. That's a, that's a true freshman not being in that moment before. And then the second touchdown that they tied it up in the beginning of the third quarter, um, got some dirty eyes. I mean, in man coverage, your guy's gonna take you to your job, run or pass. And sometimes they try and do a little too much. He got his eyes in the backfield to try and read the running play. And his guy slipped out. Now he's in a, in a chase mode, and the tight end was open in the end zone. And give Andrew Peasley credit. Uh, we hit him a few times. He made some plays with his feet. He made some plays with his arms. They made more plays than we did in crucial moments in the second half. And that was the, the final. I mean, 27-14, obviously, that pick six. Once again, we make those field goals. It's a different scenario, and we don't throw that. But we did. And give, uh, give them credit. I mean, it was a great college football game up until the final three minutes when we make too many mistakes. It's who we are. And we need to coach them better uh, so that we don't create a divide. I was, uh, I was uh, impressed with our team on the spirit of fight on the sideline. Still don't see uh, – I mean, I can see it wanting to happen with a separation between a successful uh, defense getting stops and the offense not scoring. And give them credit because they haven't. Even in the locker room, our center, C.J., Colin James stepped up and uh, made some some good comments that, I mean, we're going, they're, they're believing in it. So we've got to coach them better to give them a chance to be successful. Go ahead, I'll ask questions. And I'm not asking any questions about the four that didn't play. I already made my statement, so don't even ask. Knowing that we weren't going to get well, yes and no. I mean, fourth and three um, in the in the second half, you take those those calculations on the success we've had. Obviously, we tried to run the ball third and five twice to set something up, and they stoned us. 
And then fourth and three, Miles had to make a, a really spectacular run to even get it to fourth and three. And we weren't winning um, our, our one-on-one matchups at the receiver spot. Um, so kicking the field goal was the right choice at that time because we were playing good on defense. Uh, we'd given up the first drive in the second half. And outside of that, they weren't really doing much. And so I'd, I'd assume we'd get the ball back a couple more times. And if we could make a play on defense, we would have decent field position. Like we'd had them backed up down there. We just didn't capitalize on it. Coach, where was the momentum ultimately lost? Do you feel like, what does your gut say, feel like <laughs> where the momentum was lost? I thought the, the, the touchdown on the third and 10 hurt. We've got them third and 10. They come out and empty. And we hit the quarterback as he's throwing it. And the um, tight end makes a great play. I mean, he goes up over AJ and, and catches the ball, and they get a touchdown on a, I mean, has a 60 yard touchdown or whatever, 40 whatever yard, 47 yard touchdown when we're in great position. And if we make that play, they punt the ball, and now we've got some momentum to possibly go put more points on the board because we were running the ball really well at that time. We had almost 200 yards rushing in the first half. So I think that was a, a big turning point. But I thought we responded from that one. I was really disappointed in that first drive in the second half because we had an opportunity to get off the field and didn't. Um, and then they beat us in man coverage for a lack of concentration. And it's not A.J. Halsey's fault. He's a true freshman. You, you, you play true freshman, you're going to have to live with some mistakes. And he'll get better for it. He'll be better for it. He'll play better next week from, the, from those two mistakes. He'll never, I bet you A.J. Halsey will never relax on a seam route again in cover two because it's happened to him now. And you can tell him until you're blue in the face, until it happens to him, it's a hard lesson. But you play true freshman, you're going to have to go through those things. And I, I mean, they tell me we're the seventh youngest team in the country by the amount of freshmen and stuff that are playing. We need him to grow up. We need him to grow up really quick because those are our best players. Obviously, that's why they're on the field. What, Steve? Man, even on your way out, you're trying to start one, aren't you? I don't know. I'll have to evaluate the tape and watch. Uh, I don't think he played well enough tonight to give us the best chance to win. And I don't know. We'll have to see if, if uh, watch the tape and, and truly evaluate it and see if he is the one, best one to give us a chance to win. And if he is, he'll be the starting quarterback next week against New Mexico State. Dante Martin, we talked about already, had a, uh, has a lung issue. Should be out for about four weeks. Ray's still week to week. Um, Alec got hurt tonight. They think he might have tore his ACL. Alec Marenko, so that one hurts. Uh, Bobby Wooden um, did not play in the second half. Then we'll get some x-rays on him. They, they suspect he might have some broken ribs, but we'll figure that out. He'll be week to week if he has broken ribs. Um, if it's a clear break, it, then he'll be done for a while. If it's fractured, then we'll have to, the doctors will let me know on that. But um, I didn't hear. Uh, final synopsis on that, so we'll have to figure that one out. So that one hurt a little bit. I mean, Bobby played really well in the first quarter, for the first half. Uh, no, he wasn't, we, but he wasn't uh, on the dress list, so no. Uh, he's on the team. Coach Miles being your leading rusher tonight, I know a lot of that did come on scrambles, but is that just an example of him trying to do too much, or is it? Are you happy with kind of? Oh, I mean, I thought he, he made a couple of plays with his feet that were really nice, and when a couple of them were quarterback runs that were designed. The scrambling, no, but I mean, he's got to, we've got to, we have to have some guys win one on ones and get open and have a place for him to throw it. I mean, some of those are his fault, not all of them. I mean, sometimes he's got to take some chances and put the ball where the receivers can go get it and make some plays. I thought Elijah Queen did a couple, made a couple of nice plays in the first half right there towards the end of the, uh, the half to get us in position to kick the long field goal that we missed. Uh, sometimes he's got to take a few more chances and throw the ball. Um, moving him out of the pocket gave him a little bit of a chance in the second half, but we got to complete some of those balls so that, I mean, we can get him to back off a little bit. And I know you, you know, sat some guys for uh, other reasons, but I mean, with Nate being the only running back to actually get some carries tonight, was there a specific decision behind that? Well, Nate and, and Jaden, Jaden ran the ball early, and Nate was the one giving us the best chance, and he wasn't, he wasn't tired or anything. I mean, uh, uh, I expect Nate to be able to carry the ball 25 to 30 times a game. He's our best one. When the other guys are available, they, they help uh, alleviate some of that, and they're talented. So they weren't available. And so he, he took the brunt of it, and I thought he ran hard. I thought he ran really hard in the first half. I thought we did some really good things in the first half. But we didn't make 
uh, enough plays in the second half to give us a chance, which is really disappointing. It's basically a different game, right? Uh, I mean, they're 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 good players, so yeah, hurt your team. And I, I mean, are we going to win that game with them? I don't know. I mean, I, we, we played the game with the guys that were available, that, that meet the expectation and the standard of our team. And I'm proud of the ones that fought. We need to coach them better to give them a better chance to be successful. So they're out for disciplinary reasons? They didn't meet the expectation of our team. That's my comment. Do you guys do bed checks on they didn't meet the expectation of our team. I do bed checks every time. I do bed checks. Uh, I'm, the, I'm the last one that goes by every room on, on game nights, every time. What else? So you said you said you know just with the point swing, just with all the special teams, the, the miss kicks, the muff punts. Would you mm-hmm. say this game came down to the special teams? Oh, I think yeah. I mean, definitely was a, a special teams was a big factor in this. I mean, I talked about it on on Tuesday. Um, I thought we made some really good plays in special teams. We had a really good chance at a block punt where AJ just barely missed it in the first quarter when it was 14-0. Um, that's that's an experience. I mean, blocking punts is a is an act. And he puts his hands a little bit too high because he was in the right spot. And if we get that, there's a chance it's going to be 21 nothing with a ton of momentum. Uh, I thought Jamarius Lewis did a great job on the two punt returns. He got, a, he got one early, and in the second half, he slipped when he tried to make that guy miss. I wish he wouldn't uh, – I would have just ran by him or tried to run over him. Uh, but he gave the offense a great field position that we should have been able to come away with points, not a missed field goal. Uh, so I thought those were two big favor plays in our favor. Um, the the big plays that were not made were by us. We missed kicks. Those were the two big plays. Uh, that that that's luck for Wyoming. Um, so I thought we played well enough in special teams to win if we convert those. But we didn't.